to start. We are very fortunate to have uh, two guests from Japan tonight, uh, Mr. Hiroshi Tanaka and Mr. Uh, Teranobu Nakai, and I'm going to introduce them uh, to you. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, uh, acknowledge the support of a number of people that have made this possible. Uh, I'm Mikhail Kuyin, and uh, uh, I'm involved in the program for the construction of tea house and garden together with a, a number of other faculty. Uh, in fact, we have this year an elective uh, where also uh, Herman Cruz from Landscape Architecture and Ted Woolner from Architecture Teaching. And uh, um, I'd like to thank the Omron Foundation uh, from uh, uh, Chambord in Chicago, Illinois for supporting the program and this uh, presentation, this visit of the, our two guests is part of, of that uh, support. Uh, also, um, uh, 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 Randell Erzberger, Dean Randell of uh, the uh, local landscape architecture firm has been very generous with this uh, support. And um, all this would not have been possible also without the help of uh, Martin Limber from the University uh, Advancement, who's been really an important um, uh, advisor and, uh, and a really a person involved with this program. So thank you very much to Dr. Limber. Uh, I think we received uh, a good support from the university in, in general, particularly the uh, business affairs uh, that um, has um, allowed us to continue. And, uh, and uh, facilities planning, uh, particularly Mike Planton, who has uh, not just uh, invested his time in uh, discussing this project with us, but has uh, really contributed with a lot of work and will also provide some planting for the garden. Now, if you don't know what a tea garden is, uh, tonight is a good opportunity to, to know more about that. We'll uh, learn and facts. Uh, a lot about uh, Japanese garden design in general. And uh, uh, le let me introduce our uh, two guests, um, starting with uh, uh, Mr. Hiroshi Tanaka. Uh, he is a, a graduate of the, uh, the Kyoto Prefecture School of Forest Ecology, and which uh, uh, also gives uh, degrees in landscape architecture. And he's also uh, he also graduated from the California College of Arts and Crafts, where he, he also taught for some time. But his uh, career has been mainly a professional career as a landscape architect and uh, um, urban planner and, and civil engineer. In fact, he's, uh, he's a founder of a uh, of a company called Landtech, which originated in Osaka and then was um, uh, uh, enlarged and um, changed uh, its name into Atlantic Japan uh, with the headquarters uh, in, um, in Tokyo. Uh, he is uh, uh, practiced all around the world. I think he's uh, worked in more than 50 countries around the world, mainly uh, Asian countries, uh, also in the Middle East, and uh, he's going to, uh, to go to Algeria after visiting uh, us in Muncie and, uh, and a brief uh, trip to Houston, Texas. Uh, he's won uh, a number of awards um, from, uh, uh, from uh, not only uh, Japanese institutions, but also um, institutions abroad, governments abroad. And um, uh, in uh, uh, and I mentioned perhaps that he's been uh, president of Landtech for a number of years. Uh, together with uh, the other, our second guest, uh, Mr. Terunobu Nakai, who's also a founder of Landtech in, in Osaka. Uh, he's now retired from Landtech, where he served as a president for a number of years, and he's opened a consulting firm, the Nakai Garden Institute. Um, and so it has been very active uh, in uh, traditional Japanese garden design, uh, as well as in the restoration of many important uh, uh, 
historic gardens in uh, Kyoto, uh, many of the Kyoto and Osaka areas. Uh, he is uh, a graduate of Tokyo University of Agriculture and uh, registered landscape uh, architect, a member of the Japanese Institute of Landscape, landscape Architects. And um, um, we are uh, they're going to give a joint uh, presentation tonight so with an introduction by Mr. Tanaka, followed by some presentations, uh, uh, various sections about garden design by Mr. Nakai. After this, we'll have a reception uh, around 5 o'clock downstairs, in, uh, outside actually, in the, the side of the tea house. So you're all, all welcome there. And during that time, uh, we'll have a chance of uh, looking at some uh, recent work done by Lantec uh, inside the multi-purpose room. So it's, um, it's a follow-up of this presentation. There is a third presentation uh, tomorrow afternoon, which is part of our uh, tea house elective in the multi-purpose room. Uh, that's for our class, but everybody's welcome, okay? as, uh, as many as uh, you can fit in that room. So thanks again for coming, and uh, uh, please help me in uh, welcoming our guests here. Hello. Hello. You can see it? Okay. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You can see this in the, in your oh, so oh Well, uh, we express thank you very much for such a nice kind of convention. And then you give us a good opportunity to present our traditional Japanese gardens together with some culture related in uh, tea ceremony. And then also we really appreciate uh, Mr. Chumini, Chuini, and all of the uh, deans and then chairs of the uh, architectural department also planning and uh, landscape architecture. Also, we express thank you very much for the uh, Omulon Foundation to support this event. So, uh, I try to explain a brief uh, history of Japanese garden and also another kind of component of Japanese garden for easy to understand because sometimes it is complicated to know deeper kind of uh, spiritual or some kind of a taste is a little bit different uh, from your Western culture. Okay, shall I start now? Which one? This? All right. Uh, this is a concept through the age. We will have probably seven items uh, because the origin of the uh, Japanese landscape is uh, came from China. Then realization of ideology of the old utopia, kind of, uh, let's say, Shangri-La, Shangri the world of the Shangri-La. And then second, the religious land of perfect bliss because of the Buddhism come around uh, seven centuries. And then the third, pavilion and the splendid garden environment. This is, do you, uh, maybe you know, a uh, gold pavilion in the age of the uh, 
uh, Muromachi. They have uh, all plated gold of the wooden structure building. Then maybe uh, we know as a gold pavilion. We will show on through the pictures. The fourth provision of Zen Buddhism philosophy. This is another movement that comes more philosophically uh, background. And then this coming to uh, affect or uh, influence to the, the way of life. Not only the religious world, but normal, our life of the, I mean, way of the life. Still, it is. We have a Zen Buddhism too. And then the uh, five, simple beauty of tea house environment. Upon the influence of the Zen Buddhism, then, then after that, okay, it comes to be simple beauty. We call it wabi, Japanese word, sabi. What is kind of the word? It's very simple and then very original beauty we try to find, to utilize for the, our uh, life. And Stroll Garden of Federal Road, Daimyo. Maybe Daimyo is the, uh, probably you know because of the uh, um, famous American movie also, then uh, they had a big land and then making splendid, beautiful strolling, walk through, all the way through the, the garden. And then the last, creative beauty for temple, shrine, and residence. This is the recent, about, uh, let's say, 300 years ago, it will be started. It had been started, and then uh, whomever get uh, good money, and they make it a beautiful uh, garden. OK, so next one. OK, Nara era. This is around the 7th century to 8th century. Uh, this is the uh, archaeological site. Because the garden is really, a Japanese garden is uh, really com uh, consists of the, not only the stone, but also the plant. And then also the uh, structure of the building coming to be uh, deteriorated or gone. So this is a site because we have a lot of the archaeological excavation all around the, uh, our land, especially in the uh, old capital area. Okay, this is Heijo, the palace of uh, Nala. Uh, and then archaeologically restored building and the surrounding garden. This is exactly the uh, idea of to rea realize the old utopia. And this is the uh, renovated, restored garden. This is the really original one. And then exactly they reconstruct, put the stone like this. Some idea of the, uh, let's say, paradise, but we cannot exactly see what is the paradise. But anyhow, the old ancient people believe so. And this is the portion of that one. This is really ref reflected Chinese philosophy. Okay, next one, Heian era. This is the capital uh, move to Kyoto from Nara, and then started late 8th century to 12th century, long time. Okay, this is the Daikakuji Garden. When we say G, J I, it, it means the temple. Uh, 
they excavated the big pond and then to reflect the, all the uh, feature of the buildings and then uh, gazebo and some of the landscape around the shoreline come reflected the water. Then it comes to be some uh, feeling of the, the world, new world. Okay, this is Byodo In. In means also the temple. We have several definitions of uh, temples, not only G-I-G, -G, In, or An, or Bo, so many. But uh, this is uh, Byodo In garden. See, it is symmetrically and then expanded all pond just in front of the uh, uh, temple complex. This is another one also, uh, always uh, large scale of the pond in front of the, the temples. This is the Joluri. Joluri means a kind of the paradise meaning, means paradise. Okay, then after Heian, Kamakura era, 12 to 14th century, this times all of the warrior, the, the origin of samurai, uh, they come to be governed all of through the Japan. The samurai, maybe you know seven samurai, uh, like uh, this is the samurai. All right, this is Nanzen Inn, Hojo Garden. Hojo means square or rectangular because always the uh, most of the uh, temples or shrine, for whatever, they surrounded. I make a some boundary. If they are the uh, hill, okay, this is kind of the boundary, but from the flat land, we need some uh, boundary. So we call it uh, Hojo. See, this is the Japanese maple, red, beautiful one. And this is Tenryuji. This is another type of the uh, garden, but this is also the in front of the main temple building to see. And this era, this age of uh, <coughs> Kamakura, it come to be introduced the uh, stone arrangement. That we can see lots of the uh, type of the stone arrangement to come to be a main uh, component of the Japanese garden. Mr. Nakai participated in this renovation maybe 25 years ago or 30 years ago. Okay, this is Saihoji Garden. Saihoji is famous in the name of uh, Moss Garden, because of the old way through the, the ground, covering the uh, very soft, elegant moss, covering, because of the good uh, moisture con content all over the uh, site of uh, Saihoji. Okay, then after come to be Muromachi. Uh, Jishoji, this is another one. We call it the silver because of the old roof and then, uh, let's say, post and beams are covered by silver plate. But silver always coming to be uh, faded and then turned to the black. 
But in the garden, it's something like this. Coming to more good form with more flexible type. All right, Taizo in garden, still it is now. Look like a pond, but without pond, I mean without water. Then we call it Kale Sansui, dry garden type, to express white sand as a sea or a water or a lake like. Ryoanji, uh, this is Zen Buddha head. Front side, just a sitting place. And then uh, thinking of whatever the uh, I think human beings think lots of thinking. Sometimes annoy, sometimes uh, problems then sitting here and watching over there. But nothing but small stones and white sand. It represents the water. And then the stone represents of the uh, form or shape of the island, or sometimes the shape of the animals. Wh whatever the people who sit over there to think about. This is really kind of the conceptual and the imaginable world of the garden. Another one, Dai Senyen. This is also influenced by uh, strongly by Zen Buddhism, Zen philosophy. And uh, this kind of uh, com composition of a stone represents sometimes the high mountain, somewhere the uh, waterfall, somewhere the kind of the stream, the new expression of the phenomena and the biosphere. Okay, Momoyama, another era, uh, 16 to uh, 17th century. That time, the United States coming to be America, coming to almost independent, right? 1974, the U.S. independence. This is uh, Dai Tokuji. This is also related in Zen Buddhism. A kind of the flat garden. Look like a very mossy, but probably it is, uh, it was the white sand. But for 500 years it keep the same shape, okay? This is the problem always to keep, continue to maintain uh, the original shape and the form. But stone is not changeable, not so much. But through the years, they, the moss is growing. And then look like, uh, feel nice for Japanese, but we don't know about the, uh, your American people. This is, Dai Goji, Samboin. This is one huge complex built around the foot, foothill of the uh, uh, Kyoto, uh, southern Kyoto. And then the complex had many, a uh, complex of the uh, temple had many kind of this uh, individual buildings. Also, the garden is individually created. This one is the uh, strongly influenced 
by Western culture, because this times Portuguese and Sp Spanish influence we got it. So we have round like a ge really geometrical. It is an uh, normal for in relation to the the stream of the Japanese garden history. Okay, this is Hompoji. Again, Hojo Garden, Hojo means square garden. And within a small area, it creates the uh, hill, mound, and then shape of the uh, uh, river or a creek or so. This is the way of stone arrangement. We also use of the natural stone for bridge. And Edoela, this is uh, rather recent, around 400. This is uh, one of the very famous one. Whenever the, uh, whomever the person village, I mean Kyoto, maybe this one. This is the uh, kind of typical stroll garden. Uh, Shosen also, like this types, always related with architectural form and building and the way of showing to the uh, to the garden view. Okay, Katsura is a detached kind of villa, Kyoto, uh, quite uh, huge, I mean the wider play space, but within the flat area near the river. But it is almost uh, sometimes feel like uh, within the uh, the deep forest. What's up? And this is uh, Sendo Imperial Palace still. I had been working for this one, uh, Katsura, for my young, young, younger period. And some of the trees is uh, turn their color of the leaf beautifully, changeable, because of the uh, selection of the plant always. Uh, thinking of the climatic condition of the area. Okay, this is another one. Uh, Sugar Queen. This is the, also the villa, but the upper tea house garden. We have three kind of the portion through the, all the way through the uh, hill. And Chishaku Inn, Chishaku Inn. And then uh, this garden is used for the uh, slope, foot hill side. And Toji Inn. And then Meiji era to present times. Uh, Mr. Nakai supposed to present tomorrow, but uh, I think uh, we will ask him to uh, present later after component. Okay, this is a rather modern Japanese garden. Okay, and then next we will go to. This one. Design component, yes. Wow. All right, next one. Image, at at corner. Design component of Japanese garden. Well, this is the kind of the uh, sense of the beauty. 
of Japanese garden, and then why it is beauty or uh, beautiful, or sometimes what is the element to show like a be beautifully? So we can explain uh, one by one. Okay, here formulation of Japanese garden. One, this is really important. And then, uh, could you please remember of 10 items? Garden in relation with the architect architectural layout, okay? Garden is not started first. Always together with the Japanese architecture building. And second, respect of the natural form and the environment. Today's American environment, I mean the landscape is almost same. But always we have to respect the third viewpoint and the garden scenery. We always thinking the location of look, the garden. This is related with architectural layout. The fourth garden path and sequential changes. Because we already walking and then as walking, we can see another aspect, another scene to identify the lots of uh, interest. The fifth, dramatic interpretation of space of interest. Uh, because we may not show exactly at once not panorama, uh, panoramic way. If we go, if we turn this way, suddenly another kind of scenery coming, or going up, then we come, we, uh, the panorama view coming to be open, sometimes to come narrow, then you feel something. So these kind of the, uh, scenario, the la old uh, or Japanese landscape designer have to think. This is the one. And then the uh, six, uh, yes, the six space and level changes in natural manner. Okay, not geometrical or uh, artificially move, but smooth. Always, if you make it the uh, strong shift of this one, this is another maybe dramatic scene or dramatizing the space. So basically it is a smooth and natural way to say, go through the garden. The seven, interpretation of seasonal color and sound. Color, you have four seasons. We have five seasons. One is the rainy season. And then the sound. Okay, each season has another kind of the uh, type of the wind, shower, rain, and then temperature, uh, different but very easy to uh, perform the nature, perform the good kind of uh, uh, color and sound. Uh, I mean, the impact to us. So why not we use that one? The eighth, effective use of natural light and sound also because we respect of natural phenomena always. In the winter, spring, summer, autumn, all different color. Then automatically the, the tree, shrubs, sometimes flowers, to change another color, another sound, according to the natural phenomena. All right, <clears throat> ninth, 
suggestive circumstance of intangible to tangible. This is a little bit difficult for <laughs> your student. Uh, tangible. Uh, tangible is very easy to identify because you can see it, you can hear it. But intangible is like more like a conceptual or philosophical things to show, to suggest the guest or whatever the people who face to the garden. Some of the idea of uh, uh, whatever the happiness, sadness, or wealthy, or expanded, or very narrow, whatever. This is intangible thing to, to sh make it tangible. Still, we are trying to challenge of this, I, I mean, uh, policy, I mean, philosophy. <coughs> then, spiritual mind of reception for the guest. Uh, we had a good kind of uh, mind of reception when we were arriving here. This is the same, always amicable and then nicer to involve or participate in the world. Okay, this is the concept. And then we try to quick, quickly oh, go through of the uh, concept. Component of Japanese garden, the flat garden. Flat, we call it the hiraniwa. Flat garden, hiraniwa, flat and rectangular form of the garden, basically. Okay, we are not, uh, m not too much of the uh, uh, specific wo word, okay? Uh, we try to explain, simple. And the stone and sand garden, all right? Here, this is a typical flat garden. We also respect and enjoy of the all way through the fall down the leaves after change colors. Of course, in the springtime, it's also beautiful. But this is the beginning of the winter time. That's another beauty. Okay, never swept away. Meanwhile, we enjoyed, and then swift away. This is the kind of the taste. All right? This is the uh, flat garden. This is also uh, influenced by uh, Zen Buddhism, without stone. But this is Azalea, rhododendron, to Show you make it this kind of shape. So, hundred years to keep this shape. Sometimes growing bigger, but still they continue. Special trimming, thinning, and they keep this shape to respect the original form. All right, this is the uh, stone. Now, the ground is covered by the moss. This is another one. But today, the most of the uh, shrubs or lower bushes coming to easy to uh, trim round. But I don't know uh, what is the original one. Since hundreds of years passed, but still they keep this kind of shape. And Kale Sansui, Stone Garden or Sekite. This is the symbolic and the philo uh, philosophical interpretations. Here, again. This is Rio Anji. The back, 
uh, we borrow the uh, backside uh, scenery too. But actually, the shape like this. This is a plan. Okay, this is another Dyson in. And then this is the inner uh, coat, like a patio. But showing some of the uh, wave line, very uh, conceptual. But people who see this one maybe think some of the uh, world. In original shape like this, okay? Here, this is the one. Tidal in the last I show it, this is the one. And the hill garden, we call it Tsukiyama, one of the very typical one. Waterfall and stream garden, Sansui. Was stone and dry water garden. This is the Kale Sansui. Sansui is the water uh, and the stone. And the Kale is without water, but it represents the water like. This is the one, Ninnaji. The Japanese structure, temple, had always big porch and veranda. In the case of the uh, summer or spring, but sometimes in the winter, after the snow, it comes to be really interesting. And the home point, and water garden, Jisen. OK, this is the gold pavilion. We call it Rock Onji. In winter season, we had the slight snow all over the top of the trees. Another reason is always that pond water surface will reflect the structure of the horizontal line. OK, this is the, the plan of the uh, garden. This is, you saw this one. This is also this, uh, made it, OK, like this. All right? And strolling garden. This is the one of the most well-known Japanese garden type. And most of the element is involving, involved in this garden. See, this is the one. And how they have a <coughs> architecture a complex like this. And then each location, we can see the different angle of the gardens and they enjoy. OK, Tenryuji Garden, this is the more natural type. And then we have uh, so many kinds of cherry blossoms, maples, to represent seasonal changes. And this is the uh, plan of that one here. And some of the uh, garden, like wooden deck with roofing, kodaiji. And then the plan is like this, OK. The deck, roof the deck is crossing over the pond and showing another kind of the field of the garden. Here, center of place, palace. The plan is look like this. And uh, late. Autumn, it always turned to the red, yellow to red, and then after that they come to be uh, really only uh, twigs, branches, but another kind of the interest. 
Okay, tea garden. Now you, uh, your program has been doing uh, good, good tea, tea garden over there. Uh, compound of the out and inner garden for tea house. And the inner garden for tea house, two, two types of it. But sometimes even small uh, area, you will have a two in and out. This is the uh, kind of the concept of the tea ceremony. This is the, oh, okay, this is not exactly in, in uh, and out, but it's showing some of the uh, uh, feature of the tea garden. This is also too, another angle. And the plan like this. See, this is the uh, walk. Natural stones, maybe, uh, maybe three, four feet wide. Very nice, especially after the uh, rain. If it, if it is wet, very nice to walk. And this is the uh, all arrangement, nice space, okay? We choose nice space one by one and then make assemble. And the joint is always thinking of the, the balance between the next two and neighboring stones. See, and the central one. Okay, here is the Omote Senke. This is kind of the grand uh, family of the uh, uh, Senke. And then this is the uh, little bit complicated, but the plan. The, this is a tea house, just in front of tea house. You have the same small entrance of the tea house, but this is the kind of the proper way. But roof is a very old uh, type. We use a kind of a straw, very uh, reed, uh, make it like this. This is roji. It's a way to go to uh, entrance, small entrance, to creep and then to find another world, okay. Always uh, the gardener or designer of ancient days thinking of the uh, new kind of expectation through the uh, work. This is the gate between the out and the in. Okay, like this. Okay, this is the last one, tea garden. Uh, this is the hand washing or uh, a basin made of the stone and looks very old, but it is very old. But surrounding it just showing uh, exactly natural in the small stone lantern. Because at that time we have no electricity. Okay? And then the last one, plant. This is, please understand of the other kind of the concept. First one, uh, expression of the space. The tree always express the same sense of the space, wider, narrow, higher, lower, or expanded, whatever. This is the technique of use of the plant to reach rub, ground cover, whatever. The second, form and representation of the nature. How make it good shape? even limited space. But always Japanese garden is limited, okay? 
you have a so vast and big site, okay? You can do everything. The third, representation of a symbolic world, okay? Whatever do you think, okay? Not uh, like a magic world, but uh, another kind of spiritual new world you show, okay? And then incorporation of different architectural building because of the building it's now, today. We have so many type of shape of sometimes materials of different type. But if you put it a trees, the trees and the plant will incorporate it. Okay, not another word, okay, it comes to be jointed. This is, we call it incorporation, all right? Sometimes ugly site you can uh, hide, used by the uh, plant. Then expression of seasonal identity. This is uh, good because you are uh, very good because of the nice weather here. And always through the seasons you can Use it. So landscape architect, architect must do know of the uh, each uh, plant um, ec ecosystem of this one. So automatically you can uh, produce nice environment. And then six color uh, gradation and harmony. This is rather easy to understand with. Okay, thank you. And then, the, uh, Mr. Nakai, well, this one. Okay, maybe very shortly, sorry. <laughs> we did it. Maybe after this session, uh, we are very welcome to whatever the your uh, question and then uh, things. Okay. Uh, can I a little bit, maybe 10 minutes, come over? Is that all right? To uh, extend uh, another maybe 10 minutes to more than Japanese garden. Okay? Thank you. So Mr. Nakai will explain. Okay. Please. Mm. Okay, go ahead, please. Okay, this time he will explain real Japanese. Okay, he's going to explain by the side of landscape designer side, okay? Because you are the, uh, just uh, coming to be a good architect and then landscape designer or planner. So he, does, he is stand on the creative, I mean creator side, please. で、え、私が話聞いてみるの、昨日この話が。あ、オッケー。だ、だストーリーオブディスプレゼンテーションイズジャストユーノジェネラルパレイ。the first American visiting Japan to open, may, he made the open Japan in the new world, okay? It was a very conservative Edo period. Okay. This is one of the most famous uh, uh, 
garden exists only one. Pran. This is a pran. See, look, yeah, see, look so like a nice, uh, this is not natural, man-made, creative, but looks like a really natural. Okay. Same. Uh, the same. Yoni, uh, yoni, 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 Okay, this is the kind of the attitude to understand of the what is natural uh, form. Then the designer created like this, okay? So it means, okay, always the landscape designer know and then to get idea to create like that. Okay. This is the plan. Hey, and Jingo. Okay, he go pass through one by one quickly. Hundred fifty years ago, it was created, and then it's memory of the uh, uh, decentralizing of the uh, the government to Kyoto to Tokyo. This is the me memorial uh, thing, okay. This is the mage style. Okay, please. Okay, okay, he's a uh, storage, okay. This is a Japanese balance way of showing the balance, okay. It's not look like uh, any balance, but it is spiritual balance. Kore nanka yutte. This is... Mm. Okay, this is the first uh, landscape, Japanese style landscaping in the public space, okay. Look like uh, just a natural stream, but this is a very big uh, public park. So people enjoy, sometimes come down, okay. Sometimes people never know, this is the artificial one. This is natural one. So the plan. Okay. Waterfall, but <laughs> also the artificial landscape design. Yes. Sometimes Okay, this is the, uh, yes, the, uh, if you feel clean mind, then you can just uh, squeeze the water, sometimes drink, sometimes wash your hand, and then go through it. This is kind of the small uh, water fountain functions, but spiritually, <laughs> another kind of. Okay, this is the one of the Japanese garden in the uh, uh, middle of uh, 
20th century by the famous Japanese artist, Japanese style artist, not the uh, oil painter, Japanese paint, and uh, famous uh, master Hashimoto Kansei, his name, and then he ordered the old uh, gardener to make like this, because the more like a picturesque solution. Well, the, he expressed that the, if the person who hides the good uh, knowledge and then spiritually a nice kind of the taste and the capability, then if he's not a landscape designer or gardener, he can even make it like this garden. Another uh, type of the garden by same Japanese artist. Okay, this is the uh, more recent period uh, garden uh, that made uh, his master, I mean his instructor, Mr. Professor Nakane has been made, and of course he participated of this work. Okay, this, this is another Taizo Inn. Taizo Inn is a very old one, but this is the new portion, extension of the, the garden, continuously, the same kind of manner, to use of the uh, almost old type, but new one. I think uh, this is more easy to understand <laughs> of the concept of the garden of that one. Ah, Morena? Uh, this is the uh, movie actor's uh, uh, residence. But uh, they found of this kind of uh, uh, scenery. This is a scene of the autumn. And he is a good uh, way to borrow the background landscape involving to that one. Skisha? Skimono. Ah, okay. This is the, uh, some of the tea mustard uh, garden. Okay. <laughs> this is, uh, how, what do you expect of this one? Very difficult to understand, okay. Well, I, I selected one of these. And then, uh, what does it mean? You understand? Maybe very difficult for you to. This is a rain drops and the rain leader of uh, tea house or this one, because use a natural materials. And this is a part of the museum, but they uh, put the uh, tea house. And this is a base foundation of the uh, corrupt one, and they use it for some accessory for the corner of the rain drops. Uh, Japanese garden uh, materials, we often use reuse of the old one or corrupt one. Even it is 
uh, deteriorated or corrupt, if damaged, then we think to use, utilize one part. Okay, this, this is uh, some, uh, an ordinary way of uh, layout of uh, stones, but we, we feel it some motion and movement. The same uh, designer made it, Shigemori. Mr. Shigemori, he already passed away, but he uh, gave us uh, lots of these kind of new Japanese landscaping. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, maybe I will explain. Okay. Yeah, characteristic Japanese garden, we have five important ones. Symbo uh, symbiotic relationship with nature. This is a passive nature, not active nature. And then second, <coughs> subjective expression of natural sphere by landscape designer. Then the third, <coughs> Good judgment on selection of the garden materials. Okay, this is very important, especially for the stone selection. If we, if we, you misuse it, okay, it's dull. Then the uh, <clears throat> poor sense of value on standing human scale for garden scenery. He already expressed, okay, we are not standing higher po position, but. Uh, same stance, same eye levels always. So it means more amicable, more sympathize to the people. And then uh, five, fifth, balancing in unsymmetric composition. Uh, unsymmetric composition is uh, kind of the base of Japanese garden. Okay, so the yes, huh? Okay. Uh, maybe this is the last one. Uh, methodolo methodology of the representation. The first one, classification of the Shin Gyo So. Three type for garden design. Shin is more like a fo formation of the substantial garden objects. More rigid, more formal type. Gyo some abbreviation of the home, like a uh, uh, lighting letter type, but not block types, lighting type. So means abbreviation form of shin, to mean like a signature, but quickly, like a very l outline only, maybe. Then uh, designer's standard of capability of harmonizing and unification of each element. This is the important thing. And then, importance of designer's own sense of value. He said just right now, as selection of measures. Okay,終わりましょう. Thank you very much. Maybe uh, we have a short. I don't know if uh, it may be useful for you to, uh, uh, to know what uh, the Meiji and Taishan Showa periods are. Uh, is it possible to explain that uh, very briefly, Mr. Meiji and Showa, Meiji, Aisha and Showa period, most mostly by Western culture, dialectically. So, of course, we 
that about? Uh, we had been planned a lot of the uh, Western way of designing, not only the landscape, but also the architecture, civil engineering, everything we are influenced. So new kind of definition, interpretation had been uh, made in Japanese garden, but not so big differences for you, but for us, big differences. Is that all right? Uh, are there any other questions? <laughs> 